We hear a lot about the total cost of the reconciliation or Build Back Better bill being $3.5 trillion. But when you consider that bill is spread out over 10 years, has designated ways to pay for itself, including raising taxes on the ultra-rich and corporations, making wealthy tax dodgers pay their fair share, and fining the biggest polluters in order to pay for the environmental cleanup for the mess they caused, it's actually an incredibly reasonable, even moderate number. Keep in mind these same concerned about the budget congressional leaders have already signed off without question on the $7.5 trillion defense budget when for the first time in 20 years, we aren't even at war. In fact, Congress budgeted more than the Pentagon even asked for. For what? New drones? Submarines? We are totally cool paying for high-tech posturing to intimidate potential foreign adversaries, but spending less than half of that number on universal pre-K, elder care, affordable college, paid family leave, and expanded Medicare is somehow irresponsible? Senators like Manchin talk about getting the number to under two trillion, but that's such an arbitrary way to look at it. We're not buying a sweater that we want to keep under a certain budget. We're offering a host of services and ways to care for our citizens. So it's not about the number. It's about what you get for the number. What part of the bill does Joe Manchin see as unnecessary? Hearing aids for seniors? Affordable childcare for women who've been forced out of the workplace? Environmental protections to make our water drinkable and our air breathable? Manchin says he's concerned Americans will get an entitlement mentality if they get all these things. Things like dental care? Help with our aging population? Lower prescription drug prices? Green infrastructure paid for by oil and gas companies? A pundit on Fox News echoed those sentiments by saying, if we give children free lunches at school, they're going to think they're entitled to free lunch. Oh my god. I mean, heaven forbid the richest country in the world have children grow up thinking they deserve to eat or old people deserve to hear. You know what's entitled? Getting a paycheck to represent the people and every day going to work and doing the exact opposite. Or better yet, expecting to be treated like the greatest country on earth when in reality, most of your people struggle every day just to keep their heads above water. We need to get our priorities straight in America. Investing our money in our people should be something we all want to get behind. The two bills currently being debated will shore up our economy and allow it to grow. It will provide social and economic infrastructure that will help hundreds of millions of people and create a stable, more globally competitive economy with upwardly mobile, healthy citizens. It's time for the rich to pay their fair share and the polluters to fix what they broke. America has endless potential, but we have to ask for more than the scraps we're continually offered.